Tonight, five people remain unaccounted for in Friday's collision between an Amtrak train and a semi truck. The accident east of Reno left six people dead, including the conductor of the California Zephyr, who has Bay Area ties. Tonight, KTVU's Patty Lee spoke with the conductor's family, who say they are focused on the tragedy and not the investigation. Patty joins us live now from Concord. Well, Lee's family is gathering at the house behind me, and I had the chance to talk to two of her three children about an hour ago, and they tell me that their mother, Lorette, is the heart and the center of their family. These are photos of Lorette Lee, the 68-year-old Amtrak conductor who died after the lead driver of a three-truck convoy plowed through crossing gates into two double-decker train cars last Friday in rural Nevada. We're still kind of expecting to be able to say, no, that wasn't my mom's train, and uh, this time it was. It's, it's hard. Lee's family is focusing on the human tragedy, not on the investigation and the fact that five people are unaccounted for. Federal investigators are looking at the records of the driver and the Nevada trucking company he worked for. It turns out the company has been cited repeatedly for crashes, unsafe driving, and operating a truck with tires so bald it was taken off the road. That she's out there working and she's following the rules and this guy just... Lee's friends say she was a five foot one force of nature, nicknamed the general because she was tough and played by the rules. What was she like? Like nobody else, really, I think. Just kind of rugged, uh, strong spirited. She had a giant heart. She did. And uh, as strong as her personality could be at times, she was also very well known for her generosity and her great caring for other people. Lorette Lee came from a long line of rail workers, and her kids tell me she worked her way up from ticket taker in Martinez to conductor. They say she loved going to work, but was thinking about retiring in the near future. Reporting live in Concord, Patty Lee, KTVU, Channel 2 News. San Francisco.